What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Sound of Tech once again, and welcome to the third finals episode for Mining Rig Wars. Today's episode is going to cover the winners from episodes 8, 9, and 10, so if you haven't checked those out yet, be sure to click the Mining Rig Wars playlist up in the top right corner. Also in the top right corner, you'll be able to vote for the winner who will receive some Bitcoin to his or her Bitcoin address. And if you want to enter, be sure to hit the submissions button or link to submissions in the description below. Without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back, son. So the past three episodes have had some fantastic rigs and the competition is getting more and more fierce. So if you're going to submit, make sure you take some clear and concise photos that show all of the parts that are in the rig itself. Today, we're going to talk about the three winners, though. From episode eight, we had the rig Fireball from MK Systems. It features two Intel i3-7100s with two ASRock H110 BTC Pro motherboards with two sticks of eight gigabytes of memory, four Corsair 850 watt power supplies, two 16 gigabyte USB sticks, and 24 Pali GTX 1063 gigabytes. His total hash rate is 550 mega hash a second. The winner from episode nine, which will be rig B, was Mining Rig 7 by Maximilian. He's got some crazy blue fans going on here, but aside from that, he has an i3-7100 with the Asus Z270A Prime motherboard, eight gigabytes of 2400 megahertz HyperX Fury Black with a Kingston 120 gigabyte SSD running Windows 10. He has two EVGA 1300 watt power supplies. All of his parts are powering eight gigabyte Aorus GTX 1080 Ti's and his total hash rate is 260 mega hash a second. But the Aorus doesn't stop there. No sir, it does not because the winner of episode 10 was Aorus Extremist. Owner is Irwin with 24 gigabyte Aorus Extreme 1080 Ti's and he all is running this on two Biostar BTC 250 Pros, two Corsair Vengeance sticks of eight gigabytes of memory, two Corsair AX 1500i power supplies, and three Corsair HX 1000 watt power supplies, and a Crisbo rack. His total hash rate for Zcash is 19,000 souls. Holy smokes. To wrap things up, I'll give my opinion on all of these rigs. The first rig has a very similar open frame rig to the one I built personally. And so it appeals to me as far as that goes. I would think that if he could actually put a lip in there, then he could drop the graphics cards a little bit in if he did a recessed lip on the edges there. And that way maybe he could throw a box fan or two on top or something like that, because that's what I've done in the past. And those cards are very, very close together. So my biggest concern here is heat, just because they are stacked up so close. I am curious on how much it thermal throttles or what kind of power consumption he's got going on there. Or maybe not so much power consumption, but what he's tuned them down to and how much that's reduced heat and throttling in that system. Rig B for Maximilian, obviously the fans are my favorite part. If you guys didn't know that, then I, I apologize, but I kind of do like this hobbyist mining thing where maybe we start working on some of our appearance. I'm gonna be doing that with a case that we just unboxed the other day, which you can check out on, uh, I guess I'll throw it up here in the corner as well underneath the Mining Rig Wars playlist. But these kind of methods are starting to be uh, more entertaining for everyone. And so even if you don't spend that much money, just a little bit extra on some, some aesthetics, I appreciate it. Everything's laid out. The cable management is great. The lighting's great. And the open air frame is, is very nice. So I did want to say that going back to Fireball, the cable management appears to be good, but we have no pictures underneath, so we can't verify it's not a rat's nest on the motherboard side or below those GPUs. 
Finally, Rig C, the Oris Extreme is just impressive. We're talking about 24 1080 Ti's. When you talk about going all out into like your first set of mining rigs, this is kind of what I a picture or assume. And it's RGB thanks to the Gigabyte Oris edition. So what would be even cooler is if he had some sort of pattern going on for all of these and we had some cool uh, RGB lighting, flashing, etc. So do a video of that for us, Erwin. Just set them off. Let them go crazy and, and send it out to us. That would be fantastic. I would love to see that. So that wraps everything up, fellas. If you want to vote, be sure to click above the red arrow on the little exclamation point and vote for your favorite rig. And be sure to submit your rig if you have one in the description below by clicking the submissions link. You can also go to sonofatech.com and click the submissions tab to submit there. And while you're there, go to the subdomain coins.sonofatech.com and pick one of our pools to mine to with low to no fees. And we hope to see you guys there. We also have a Discord, a community Discord with a ton of useful information and helpful community members. So I will leave a link to that in the description below. We do really want to help people out as much as we can. I try to in the comments, but if you can come to the community, I promise we'll get you set up and going that way. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you next Tuesday.